Hey guys, welcome back to the LaFontaine Classic Car YouTube. My name is Mackenzie and today's video is featuring this beautiful 66 289 Mustang. Uh, this is one of my favorite generations of Mustang. This one is a notchback or coupe and it is in a lovely Arcadian blue. Um, this is how this car rolled off the line, even with those wire center caps. We'll get into our wheel covers. This has got a 289. Man, these are cool cars. They're cool cars. They're compact. I think they're kind of just the right size. You know, Mustangs, they started out real good. Then they got a little bit bigger and chunkier than 70, mid 70s gas crisis. They shrunk back down even smaller than this and they figured themselves out for a little while, but they definitely hit it right out of the box. These were awesome cars. They made so many of these things and no one ever knew they were going to be this collectible and because they made so many and so many people enjoyed them. Not many made it out. This is a rust free one, has a ton of original metal and a lot of originality at that. So we'll dive right in. I'd like to start by showing you the front here and what's cooking under this hood. So this is a 289. This is the motor that came in this car, which is always awesome. It's been refinished. It's got fresh paint on there, uh, fresh water pump, distributor, and a whole bunch of other goodies. And I see a new fuel pump. The manifolds look darn clean. Even that oil filter, the little filter midline. This is pretty cool too, a little bag holding the fluid for our wiper sprayers. Got a nice little radiator in here, all stainless hose clamps. This is a very tidy little ride. Uh, we got a nice new battery, everything you need to go hit it and cruise. This one doesn't need any love. It's all dialed in. Um, yeah, this is a very much turnkey car for you. Under the hood looks just as good as the top. I like that they finished the paint up there as well. All of our chrome, the grill, the pony in the front, it's all there, it's in wonderful shape. I don't see any cracks, any pitting, any rust. It's all in, in wonderful shape. Um, one thing too I like to stress on and what separates us from the other guy maybe is all of our cars, one, we own them. We don't consign these. We take a lot of pride in them. So before we even think about purchasing a car like this, we're doing our due diligence, checking it twice, and then before we prepare it for sale, we do the fluids in them, we make sure all the lights, the gauges, the blinkers, so when we hit that key every time, it goes, you ain't gotta worry about it, you can just enjoy, because that's what these are all about, having a good time. Of course, there's many other ways to get around town, but this one, the way this is gonna make you feel, the way this thing looks, the way it turns heads, starts conversations, that's what comes with the classic car that isn't always in the brochure, right? Very, very beautiful back ends. I like the dual exhaust. Those are stainless tips, the nice rolled edge on them. These taillights are very iconic. I think at this point, we all know what they are. No matter how fast one of these drives by you, that is a nice, nice little Mustang. Um, we'll cruise around the side here and we'll circle back to the trunk. This is very straight, very flat paint. I don't see any runs, no cracking, no bubbling, and all our badging is nice. Now, if we take a step back, these wire wheels, they almost look like real wire wheels. They did a good job. There's a steely under there. Um, those caps are super cool and give these cars a good look. I like that option. And the white line through those tires is very slick as well. And we got a nice stainless antenna popping out the top. I got my keys. This, the round one is what accepts all the uh, lock cylinders on the exterior of the car. Pops right up. Boom. Very clean. Very nice. Um, these had these nice little mats in here. We got a spare tire under there. If you look in here, 
at this metal, these wheel tubs, done a very, very nice job keeping this thing up. And obviously when they restored it, they did not let it get, let the quality dip. It looks very good. Like this uh, could have rolled off the showroom not too long ago. Some OG stickers underneath. Yeah. Not too much happening, but very cool. You could fit plenty of stuff in here. Um, whether you like groceries, you like golfing, you like all that, I think we can fit it. So not only does this coupe here have the 289 V8, also has a three-speed manual transmission and three pedals down low. So this one is quite a joy to drive. Everything's working very well together, just like it should. We've got our gauges up front, tell us um, where all our vitals are at, and then that speedometer goes up to 140 miles per hour. Uh, we've got wipers, we've got our light poles, we've got a cigarette lighter, our AM radio there, a little ashtray here, a couple of the heater controls, and a nice glove compartment there. Um, the dash pad on this one is in very good shape. And then another thing I want you guys to see too is this headliner. Um, something about old cars and headliners, they tend to sag. Not this one, it is tight, it is very good. And peer your eyes on the back seats. There is no rips, no tears, and they are very comfortable and plush might I add. And then that rear deck lid is in good shape. There's a little bit of carpet on there, which is looking good too. Now check this out. This is a very, very healthy car. Um, start, stops, hot or cold, and it's just always agreeing with me. So I, you'll see it as we drive it, but it's cool. I got it in neutral. Fires right up, no pedal in the gas, not more than one crank, and she's off. Clutch in, down into one, and we're off. Right, we're in second gear now, down into third. And this thing, you point it where you want it to go, and you go straight. Got the windows down. Hair blowing, sun is out. It feels good. Um, this thing, they're pretty light, tiny cars. So that 289 gets them moving really nicely. Um, and then again, this one is aligned very nicely. It takes the corners very well. Yeah, this, this is a sweet little car. I've been having a good time driving it around today. And again, good, good amount of power for uh, I'll backtrack a good power to weight ratio no doubt I'll punch it a little bit on our way back here but solid car This is the part of the video here where we get to go through the underside. We got a little bit of action that happened in the back of the shop here today, but don't let that distract you because we have a lot of good happening under here. Um, there's plenty of new components from the tires to the disc brakes. Look at those rotors. There is no deep gouges, no warping. You notice on all these Zerk fittings all around, we've greased the whole chassis and that is why this thing is so smooth and cruises very nice. Um, the suspension's in good shape. The frame is in really nice shape. I haven't found any spots on it that look like they've been straightened or dented or moved. So I think this is probably an accident-free car. It's never been in any kind of collision like that. The metal up front all looks good. Our oil pan is straight and dry, which is awesome. Um, starter is looking good. The bottom of this bell housing also, too, looks very nice. This is an aluminum one. And if you come over to my side here, you will see the clutch fork. And there is a good bit of grease there to keep that moving good and smooth. The transmission is dry as well. And 
the exhaust is all solid and rust free. Now when it comes to the floor pans of these Mustangs, um, it's not uncommon that they, you know, the rust gets the best of them and they have to be replaced. Um, in this case, these actually look original. Um, you even have some of the original, um, what do you call this, primer that came on these cars when they rolled out of the factory. That's that red stuff there. And someone has undercoated this over the years, but for a good reason, it worked, it did its job. It's all held up really nice. We got a couple of glass pack mufflers in the back, a couple of leaf springs, some air shocks, and a new axle back set of pipes. That's uh, fresh galvanized steel. We've got drums in the rear. We've got a solid 8.8 .8 in the back here. Brake lines all look good. The shocks look good. The bushings are right. And as you know, it drove really good too. Um, this is a new gas tank. Got a nice set of tips. This is a very, very tidy old Mustang for you. Guys, thanks for tuning in and checking this one out with us today. Uh, if you like this car, if you want to know anything more about it, the history, the stories, the details, you can give us a buzz. You can check us out online. The number for you is 248-714-2110. And I'm going to put everything you need right in the description below this video. So you scroll down, click it open, and we're going to put the link to the listing where all the pictures and details are. We're going to put a link to our socials. You can check us out, follow us, stay up to date with what we got coming. And of course, like and subscribe. That's going to get you in tune, in the loop first when all our new rides land. You want to be in on that. Uh, lastly, my name is Mackenzie. Thank you for checking out our 66, and we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take her easy. This matches my shirt. <laughs>